Hi. <laughs> Never think something's funny. It's been a funny day today because, you know, it's been Earth Day. And just so as you know, a company that I work for sells homegrown garden system little containers. That's special today. Get free shipping. Don't worry, I'm not going to give you a code for free shipping for this company. I'm not going to tell you who this company is because I'm not like that. The promotion's over anyway. But uh, yeah, I had back-to-back -back calls all day long selling these little garden systems with the free shipping and telling people how to get them and how they work and all that fun stuff. Because people need to know how to work it. That was my whole day. Uh, didn't get to do my emails like I needed to. Um, uh, I did get a, a little, you know, happy surprise of, hey, you didn't go excessive breaks last week, so you get extra break time this week and you get an assigned desk. I mean, this is <laughs> little, just, it, it just seems like just such petty little rewards for things that should be, I mean, I used to have an assigned desk. I used to have 15 minute breaks until they decided that they needed to cut back and shake things up a bit. So the idea of these being a reward is slightly insulting to me. Though I accept them and I, I, it is a bit of a relief for at least a few days to not wonder like, hmm, am I going to sit at a good desk? Or am I going to have to sit in one of the rows with the freaking children who chatter all day about stupid kid stuff? I don't know, just about freaking selling drugs and, you know, chasing bitches and, you know, skipping school, skipping work, ditching my kids because I'm an adult. I should be able to do what I want. If I wanted to work in high school, I would probably have been getting myself a teaching degree. And as much as I'm pretty decent at teaching people how to do things, I don't want to be a teacher. Because the way society has set teachers up, it just sets them up to fail. If you are the friend of anybody that is or has ever been a teacher, th they'll probably tell you some horror stories. In fact, I guarantee you they will if you ask. So I, I, I don't want to be part of all that drama. And I, I try to avoid it when I can. I, I did get a little bit of good news when I got home, though. Um, I got a response to one of the applications I put in at a job, and I just have to take a few assessment tests before uh, noon on Thursday, which I plan to get done hopefully tomorrow night. And either that or just get up and do it right after I have my breakfast uh, Thursday morning. I'll try to do it tomorrow night. And, uh, you know, cross my fingers and hope that they like what they see. I, I always feel a little awkward with these assessment tests, though, just because most likely it's going to be, like, these dumb questions, like, if you had a chance to steal from the company you work for, would you? And then the, it's yes or no question. It's like... Really? 
who in their right mind would say yes to this question during an assessment? And I guess that's what they're trying to weed out is the people that would say yes because, man. But anyway, I made my rice that I, you know, I, I like to do things from scratch sometimes when I can, especially if it saves me a lot of money. And from what I've determined, I don't think my time is worth rice. I think I can go buy ready-made rice packets and just the the grief over trying to get things right and dedicate the time and effort to cook it and then make sure it's cooked right and then portion it or um, use later just it, it, the you know I, I can buy a bag of you know organic long grain wild rice for what four bucks and end up you know making uh, a dozen quarter cup baggies full which is about as much as you would use, you know, for a single portion of like a, you know, adding it to like a, you know, like a chicken broccoli, cheese chicken broccoli, that's what I'm making presently. And, um, but yet I can go and I can buy a, a little pouch of rice for like a dollar and a half, and that's good for two people. And then just, you know, just the the price difference I gotta determine if that's worth it to me for the money you know if is this what I want to spend my time off making and bagging rice is that worth the price difference to me you know it's not just rice it's other things too and just you gotta just weigh the difference with the price and stuff in, in your time you know rice the good kind of rice it, it, it doesn't take just 10 minutes. It's not minute rice, you know, so I don't know. Maybe if I did have a job where I worked from home or at least here in Springfield, then I would have more time to do things like that. I don't know. It, it adds up and it evens out. That's what I'm trying to work on, even things out, getting a balance. So we're going to try this again tomorrow and hope uh, my one program that sells little garden systems doesn't go freaking nuts because, oh, hey, I checked my email today and I had a thingy for free shipping yesterday. Will you order that today? I'm going to order like $200 worth of stuff. No, sorry, I can't order that. Well, I'm not going to order at all. Is there any other questions I can answer for you? Bye. Thank you for calling. So let's get off my nose. <sighs> I, I'm not paid to try to retain the customer if they're too stupid to check their email and use a one day only code. <laughs> but hopefully I won't have to worry about that too much longer. And we'll be good. So, anyway, happy Earth Day, everybody. Oh, here's my little thing. I meant to wear this to work today, but you know what? I just forgot about it. Oh, well. But yes, happy Earth Day, fellow YouTubers.